Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today what I have for you is some information regarding brand new signature items that are coming to Madden 16 Ultimate Team today. We're getting a ton of new cards, guys. We're starting off here with a big group of cards. These ones are kind of like the lower overall ones, which is kind of crazy because if you look at these, some of them are really, really, really good. I mean, we're talking about uh, Emmanuel Sanders up there. We've got, you know, Tom Bahali. We've got uh, all kinds of really, really good cards. A Jason Witten up there in your top right of your screen. A Josh Norman. I mean, Lamar Miller, Kalias Campbell. All kinds of really, really good players that we can take advantage of in the next couple of days here. Uh, this is going to be a really solid promo, I think, guys, because I've heard a lot of rumors that there's going to be be some sort of signature card uh, topper or a bundle specifically that's going to give you signature cards. So we're going to have access to these things, I think, guys. So that should be pretty darn cool. I'm excited for it. Oh, there's also a Darren Sproles, by the way. I don't know if anybody wants to use that. Darren Sproles is always kind of glitchy. But uh, anyway, guys, those are some really, really nice cards. Also, uh, Marcel Darius, 97 overall, man. I don't even know, like, I don't know what what these cards will have as far as specific attributes because we can't see those, but these ones are all really solid and they're like the worst of the bunch. So just to tell you guys, I mean, this is going to be a, a solid grouping of cards that we're going to get here. Obviously, they're not as good as the Ultimate Legend uh, boss cards and things like that, but they're still really, really nice. So I'm excited about it. And let's get in, guys, and let's take a look at the cards that are a little bit higher overall, kind of the more featured cards. Starting off here with AJ Green, 97 overall, ridiculous card. AJ Green's always got really nice cards because he's six foot four. This time they actually gave him good speed as well. 95 speed, 98 catching, 96 catching traffic, uh, 99 spectacular catch as well. So he's gonna be a really nice card to go up and get those aggressive catches, which, you know, at this point in Madden Ultimate Team, in Madden 16. I mean, it's a lot of the game is, is predicated on if your guy can go up and get the, the aggressive catches. I mean, it is what it is, right? So, I mean, AJ Green is a guy that can definitely go up and do that. He's going to be a great card. And he's definitely going to be somebody that people are excited to pull. Uh, he's not, you know, the best wide receiver in the game right now or anything like that. But it's definitely going to be up there, guys. And it, it should be one of the better receivers that you're going to be able to get here, uh, at least for the next couple of weeks, if not the next couple of months. So let's move on here and uh, let's take a look at the next one, which is Willie Colon. 97 overall left guard another really solid card here guys a lot of strength uh, a lot of great attributes overall I mean we're talking about 92 run blocking is the low attribute he's got 98 for a pass block um, you know the acceleration is really good as well at an 84 so I, I'm I'm pretty I would be happy with pulling this I mean definitely 97 overall left guard I mean he's the kind of card that you could pull and you could play this card at your left guard position for pretty much the rest of the year and probably be pretty happy with it I mean if you're somebody that goes for the 99 overall teams then obviously you're gonna have to move on from him eventually but if you're somebody who just wants a solid card at every position I think this card is definitely gonna be up there and it's gonna be one that is uh, one of the better left guards through the rest of the year because quite frankly EA doesn't really invest a lot in offensive linemen especially interior offensive lineman legends. So we should see this one being one of the better left guards through the remainder of the year. Next one on the list, guys, Thomas Davis, 97 overall left outside linebacker. Thomas Davis always has really good cards as well. Well, at least last year he did uh, because he got the uh, the Walter Payton Man of the Year, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure that was last year. Uh, but that card had really good attributes. Um, he's usually a really well-rounded linebacker as well. He's got 88 speed, which isn't amazing at this point in Madden but it's still really solid great acceleration as well at a 98 hit power super high pursuit is really high as well which is nice because if you're not using him like a lot of people don't use their outside linebackers like if you're me you're pretty much using your middle linebacker most of the time or maybe a safety so I think he's a good card to have on your team if you're not using him because he has the intelligence he's going to be able to go and make the plays on his own as well Next card up, guys, we have Eli Manning, 97 overall. Hey, I've never been an Eli Manning fan. Uh, just fairness and disclosure, <laughs> I guess. Uh, you know, he's just not somebody that I'm a huge fan of. I guess it's probably because he's the Giants quarterback. I'm a Cowboys fan. It is what it is. But... 
Look, man, this card is pretty solid. I, I mean, the one thing that I think is kind of interesting about this and all the signature cards is that it adds attributes to the other players on your team. So he does add a plus two for catching to the whole team. And obviously, you guys can go back and take a look at the other ones. Um, they all add some sort of attributes, or at least the, the top tier guys do. Um, so that's pretty nice. I, I mean, Eli's not super mobile, but this year isn't so much about the mobile quarterbacks, it seems to me. So I don't necessarily think that's that bad. He does have good attributes overall. Uh, nothing like amazing. He's not the best at anything in specific, but obviously he's got good throwing power, 98 for a throw power, which to me is a little bit overrated for Eli. He does throw up the deep ball though. So, you know, I'm not that disappointed. I think it's totally fine. Uh, the throw accuracy is good as well. Not the best in the game, but uh, he is a 97 overall quarterback. See, it's kind of funny because a 97 overall quarterback is like, this card might be worth more than, let's say, the 97 overall left guard, but at the same time, though, the quarterback position just has a lot more higher overall players, so Eli is probably not going to be one of the better quarterbacks through the rest of the season, whereas, you know, some of the offensive linemen that they might put out here are probably going to be better players toward the end of the year. So it might be smarter to invest in those type of players versus a quarterback who is probably going to lose value a lot over the next couple of weeks and months as the year goes on. And we start to get more of these ultimate legend quarterbacks, the, uh, you know, obviously like the, the combine quarterbacks and stuff like that. Um, you know, the, the NFL draft quarterbacks, they pretty much always have cards like that, that come out that just kind of like blow everything else away, especially the quarterback position. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see Eli Manning kind of fade off here over the next couple of weeks but for the time being it's still a pretty solid quarterback card I mean like I said it's not the best in the game but should be able to get you by if you do pull him next card on the list guys we do have a 97 overall middle linebacker Clay Matthews this might be the final middle linebacker Clay Matthews I'm hearing from a lot of Packers fans. Uh, a lot of people are talking about having Clay go back to playing outside linebacker. I don't know if that's factual or not, but it's very possible that this is the final Clay Matthews middle linebacker card. So if that's something you're interested in, you can certainly go out there and acquire this. It's a solid card with 91 speed at, at the middle linebacker position. That's always a fun thing to have for usering. Um, it does have great attributes as well if you're not going to user him. I want to point that out because uh, he does have nice Nice awareness with a 90, not the best, but very, very solid, and 99 pursuit as well, so he can go out there and, uh, you know, go out there and make the plays on the run if you're not using him, so uh, another pretty good card. Not going to be the best middle linebacker, and we're also having a new middle linebacker ultimate legend tomorrow, so uh, this one's not going to be the best in the game. Moving on, left tackle Trent Williams. This is a 99 overall signature card. This is the only 99 of the bunch. Kind of interesting that they made Trent Williams the 99 overall, but, you know, it is what it is. He does add plus two to pass blocking for your entire team. That is really significant, I think, because you look at some of these other cards that may struggle a little bit in the pass protection area, and you're getting that little boost that might help make them a little bit more viable. Some of the guys that are more built for run blocking, especially the interior offensive linemen, you're going to get better pass blocking because you have Trent Williams on the field, so that's a good thing to have. The other thing, guys, is that he himself has 100 pass blocking very, very nice attribute, 96 strength, 96 run blocking as well, um, the speed is solid at a 78, acceleration is a ridiculous at an 86, I mean, we're talking about a guy that really can do it all, there's really no major downfall with this Trent Williams card, I personally think that you might be able to use this Trent Williams, just like I said before with the other offensive linemen, you can maybe use this card through the rest of the year, Obviously, there are going to be ultimate legends that come out and other cards that come out that are going to be 99 overall at left tackle, but I don't know. I just think like if you have the ability to make your entire team better with a card, that's why I always like to use like the Chris Johnson card in previous years where they would add attributes for love like speed and things like that to the rest of your team just because it's such a huge advantage to get that. I mean, if you think about it, if you add plus two to pass blocking for all of your offensive linemen, you're talking about, because it does also, as far as I understand it, add it to the player himself. So it says 100 pass block. It would actually be 102 pass block for him because he does add the plus two to pass block for him as well. Uh, but if you think about that, you're adding it for all five players. You're basically adding 10 attribute points to an extremely important attribute for that position. I mean, pass blocking might be the most important 
attribute as far as like an offensive lineman goes and to be able to just add plus two to that to everybody across the line is such an important thing and there might not be another card that comes out that really rivals that unless they start to do like golden tickets and things like that based off of these cards so uh yeah another really really good card but the final one is richard sherman okay Richard Sherman is only a 98 overall, and I say only a 98 overall because, you know, that we just saw a 99 overall, but this card is really, really nice as well. It compares very favorably with the the uh, Night Train Lane that came out a while ago. Now, Night Train Lane is better in run support. I'm not going to say that he's not, right? I mean, he's going to be able to have the high hit power and the strength and things like that, so there's no real comparison there, but if you look at things like speed, acceleration, uh, man coverage, zone coverage those things are very very similar between these two cars between sherman and night train lane they're almost identical and then richard sherman actually has him in play recognition press coverage and catching so you're getting a, cu a couple of upgrades there whereas you're getting the downgrades from the run support so it's all dependent on how you play there will there very well may be times where richard sherman's better to have on the field than the night train lane so this is going to be a really good card obviously sherman is six foot three as well which is a huge advantage there are hardly any cornerbacks in this game that are bigger than richard sherman so he can go up there and make some of those plays against those guys that go up and make the aggressive catches so that's why i think richard sherman might be the most expensive of this whole bunch he's going to be a really really nice card and definitely somebody that you could add to your team right now now the question of course becomes will there be an ultimate legend richard sherman that'll come along and make this one irrelevant and the chances are pretty good that that's going to happen i would say we can't guarantee it we saw it last year though we saw sherman get an ultimate legend card now some people complained about it because you know he and other players that are currently playing may not technically or i don't know how you would describe it maybe they don't deserve to be legends quite yet but the bottom line is that ea makes that decision so we have to try and put ourselves into their shoes what are the odds that the final richard sherman card is going to be this signature card i don't know I don't think it's great. I think there are a really good chance that there's going to be a Richard Sherman card that comes out that's better than this one. I would almost bank on it. I would almost guarantee that there will be an Ultimate Legend or some sort of other 99 overall boosted version of this card. That being said, this is still one of the best cornerbacks in the game right now. Top five for sure, even though it's 98 overall. So go out there and get this thing if you can. Of course, I think it's going to be a really great card for at least a while here. I would guess at least a month or two uh, before they start to put out an upgraded version of Richard Sherman. So there you have it, guys. That is the update there for the signature cards. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and if you learned something, be sure to drop a like on the video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about my analysis on each of these cards and if I'm uh, headed in the right direction with it or if you think I'm wrong. Let me know. Thanks again, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.